the Philippines. Transforming. Moving to greater heights. Surpassing expectations. Building strong and sustainable foundations to achieve inclusive growth. Good governance is changing the attitude of the world towards the Philippines and is creating a climate of confidence in the country. Amidst heightened volatility in the global economy, the Philippines stood out when it recently achieved investment-grade sovereign credit rating. I think the word says it, you're uh, investment-grade. It's a signal to the rest of the world and to the local people that, you know, capital should now flow to the Philippines. Uh, you know, I work for the World Bank. This is my 12th country. And uh, I've never seen a situation like this where so many things all point in the same uh, direction. It's not just the macro situation itself. But the Philippines finds itself in that region with a very stable macro uh, economic outlook and with a government who realizes this full well and is uh, undertaking a whole range of reforms that have been very difficult to do in the past and the rest of the world has realized it. So um, that's why, you know, our own uh, director, Muto uh, in a speech he made earlier this year, said, you know, the Philippines is no longer the sick man of East Asia, it's the rising tiger. And, and we in the World Bank uh, believe that. The investment grade credit rating and the positive assessments from international institutions are well earned. These are the results of policy reforms deliberately implemented over the years in collaboration with the private sector to improve governance and harness the Philippine economy's growth potentials. Truly, these reforms have enabled the country to sustain robust growth post solid macroeconomic fundamentals and make significant progress on various fronts. Our economic growth has accelerated with potential output now higher than the 4.85% average growth rate in the past 12 years. Growth has also become more broad-based. Inflation has been low and stable and has been within the target range in the last four years. Our external payments position remains a key strength of the Philippine economy, with international reserves now exceeding our external liabilities. In fact, we have become a creditor to the IMF as we help in global financial stability efforts. Our banking system is sound and stable, making our banks effective intermediary of funds to service the credit needs of our people. The government's fiscal strength continues to improve, creating more fiscal space for productive investments. That this kind of economic growth is happening when the Philippines has just been upgraded to investment grade means that development can take place at an even faster rate, opening more and better opportunities for business and investors. Both the uh, trade and investment side, we have seen significant growth uh, coming from 2011 to 2012, and we expect the same thing for 2013. In particular, for investments, uh, we've seen uh, the growth in uh, the registrations of investments with uh, our investment promotion agencies increased by over 40% uh, year on year, uh, 2013 over 2012. We've seen a significant diversification of our exports. Electronics exports used to account for 70% of all merchandise exports. Today, it's around 40%. This means that we are now exporting many other products outside of the electronics uh, products, including prefabricated housing, bicycle parts, medical devices, and so forth. Most of these products have higher value added. There are many other reasons why the Philippines should attract more investments. One of them is its globally in-demand labor force. One of the reasons were the Filipino values and the, and the workforce that we looked at, as well as uh, the economic uh, PESA zone. We also looked at their education level, and 57% of our employees are engineering degreed here. And another is 18% uh, is in arts and sciences and other disciplines. The bonus of it was is that 
The workforce that we brought in is, has a lot of training in lean methodologies, which is very important to us. We decided the Philippines, but before that, uh, we researched the Vietnam, uh, Malaysia, Indonesia, or other countries. But however, the Philippines was the best place uh, to be investment for our shipbuilding business. In Philippines, uh, there are many skilled workers, educated and motivated. Secondary, uh, accessibility. The Philippines is the center of Southeast Asian countries. The last three, the reliable partner and also the French friendly local government unit, which is Balambang Municipality. The Philippines, a land that no shipbuilding history, have given a real presence to the face made in Philippines. The quality of Balambang made ships is the same as the doors made in Japan. The establishment date of this company is March 2012. The only three or four months we can establish our company. Very easy and very convenient for us. So in other countries, we cannot establish our company within three months. The attitude of Philippines is very cheerful every day that I come to work, it's, it's very happy. Filipino, they get the, the good education. Uh, they have uh, some of the knowledge of engineering. That one is another reason. The Philippines has other competitive advantages and offers many opportunities for investors to do business profitably in the country. The Philippines is about to hit its uh, demographic uh, sweet spot and countries that have uh, gone through that have seen uh, acceleration in their uh, GDP growth rates. As the per capita and disposable income uh, increases, there will be a lot of opportunities for uh, investors not only to uh, sell goods to uh, Filipinos but to invest in infrastructure. Uh, secondly, uh, governance uh, has uh, improved dramatically since uh, President Aquino uh, took over and I believe this is going to be irreversible because people now are more empowered uh, with uh, internet. Uh, third, um, 2015 is just a few years uh, away and uh, the Philippines uh, will be part of um, an integrated ASEAN economy that would be one of the largest uh, in the world with an average age of 27. Finally, uh, we are right in the middle of what will be the most dynamic uh, economic region of the world for the next uh, 30 to 50 uh, years. So it's the best time to come in to a country like the Philippines uh, uh, where the upside potential is uh, quite substantial and the downside risk are quite limited. As the Philippines continues to outshine and reap accolades and seals of approval, the government strives harder to achieve inclusive growth and maximize opportunities for all. People often ask us, you know, what are the three things we have to do to, to produce uh, inclusive growth? It really needs to be a comprehensive reform uh, agenda across a whole range of sectors. I think it's more important that the country uses this moment, this confidence, this, this very committed government to sort of create a coalition around all the reforms needed to get inclusive growth going. The BSP contributes to the government's goal of promoting inclusive growth through our advocacies on financial inclusion. First, by creating the regulatory environment to ensure greater access to credit and financial products for MSMEs, especially those underserved and unbanked sectors of the economy. Second, by reaching out to the public, including Filipinos overseas and the youth, through our financial education campaigns to encourage them to save more and invest more. Lastly, by providing a mechanism to, for redress of complaints related to consumer financial products. Through these initiatives, the BSP endeavors to ensure that the benefits of our sound macroeconomy translate to improvements in the microeconomy also. That is, as the Philippines moves along a higher growth path, no one is left behind. Agriculture is one of the two sectors capable of creating jobs, complementing existing livelihoods and igniting rural development. Current reforms and policy transformations have created income-generating opportunities for more Filipinos. 
we continue to promote agribusiness investments by assisting in the development of various agribusiness enterprise in coordination with the regional marketing people, local government units, and the private sector to improve local employment and income opportunities and strengthen even more the partnership between the public and private sector. Under the Philippine Rural Development Program that was approved by the NEDA Board last June 2013, investment in agri-fishery infrastructure in support for priority commodities determined together with public and private province-level stakeholders shall receive priority. The uh, investment grade is certainly a very good housekeeping uh, seal for the Philippines and therefore will uh, be able to translate into making the Philippines a welcome destination for uh, foreign uh, direct uh, investments. It will also translate into uh, lesser borrowing costs and therefore less uh, interest payments for the country. And all this means that the country will be experiencing a greater fiscal space that can be devoted to uh, more social services as well as uh, livelihood and uh, income generating uh, programs, uh, especially in the areas of uh, infrastructure, uh, agriculture, tourism, and of course the revival of uh, the manufacturing sector. The SME sector is uh, very critical to the attainment of inclusive growth because SMEs account for over 99% of the business enterprises in the Philippines. A lot of our efforts are now really devoted to the support of SMEs. In particular, we have the shared services facilities, which will provide a common facility to small uh, groups of uh, entrepreneurs because this will improve their production volumes as well as improve their quality. We also have many other programs that we offer, such as the SME Roving Academy, which will provide training programs in the basics of business, including tips on how to export, tips on how to design your products. We also are working on crafting uh, a law and to ease the regulations and registration processes of doing business. We're also uh, doing a PPP in terms of reforming the supply chain in the country. A lot of our poor are in the agriculture sector. We are reaching out to the large uh, multinationals in this country so that uh, they can use their purchasing budget to buy more from our agricultural sector. A very good example would be uh, Nestle uh, that's buying more of its coffee requirements uh, in the country now. Jollibee has been uh, helping uh, onion farmers uh, in the Philippines supply its onion requirements. I understand now they uh, buy the bulk of their onion requirements from uh, small uh, farmers. It's important that uh, the private sector realizes that it also has an important role in this quest for inclusive growth. Indeed, the country's journey doesn't end with attaining investment grade. We have to make sure that we institutionalize the reforms that President Aquino has uh, started. Reforms in uh, public financial uh, management, in the BIR, and in the other important uh, financial agencies of government. Reforms in terms of how we evaluate and uh, reward uh, government uh, employees. It's important that uh, we uh, institutionalize meritocracy in this uh, country. Reforms in terms of legislation, you know, making sure that changes in uh, policies are enshrined in uh, laws. So the key uh, is institutionalization. When people are able to uh, clearly distinguish uh, the impact to their own lives of good governance, you know, then I think they'll demand more of the same after 2016. Sustained, inclusive growth that benefits the public and investors alike can only be achieved through longevity. The longevity of reform and good governance that has built trust, confidence, and optimism in the Philippines. Today, all the factors are in place. Political stability, low inflation, and low borrowing rates. Opportunities for growth in almost all sectors. A government committed to integrity and empowerment, and a people known the world over for their industry, loyalty, and creativity. 
In our country, you have the recipe for sustained inclusive growth that benefits investors and the public alike. All that is left is for us to engage each other and work together. This is the perfect time to invest in the Philippines. Investment Grade Philippines, seizing opportunities to achieve inclusive growth.